this is Faith and with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today on this quick, easy DIY. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you and welcome. I truly appreciate the fact that you have chosen to watch this video. Hope you'll like it and decide to become a subscriber. Give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. With that said, seems like I've got a pitch every time. It's not a pitch, it truly is my desire that you will become a subscriber. I hope that you will like the DIY that I'm about to share with you. So what you'll need for this project is a placemat. Um, I hauled this placemat from Walmart and it was, it doesn't have a price on here, it was $1.98. Then I got a Dollar Tree um, cardboard, and I like it because it's fairly thin. It's it's not thick at all. And um, I need to move the stones out of my way. I need my cardboard to be very flat. So I'm going to remove my tag. I, I left the tag on there because I wanted you guys to see the brand, where it came from. Mainstays. Placemats. Okay, so um, Ross does sell these. Uh, they are four in a pack for $7.99, which is a much better buy um, to save because if you think about it, um, if you bought four of these at Walmart, it would be over $10. At um, Ross, they have four for $7.99. So, if you decide you want to do this project, Ross would be the best place to go. Now, you will also need to have a Dollar Tree, a little mirror, glue sticks, and someone asked about the glue sticks. I usually haul them from Walmart or from um, Michael's, and this is the Art Mind. So there isn't a particular, it doesn't have a brand on there, it just has Art Mine, maybe that's the name, it's a hundred in the pack. It works really, really well guys, and like I said, I'm not endorsing the Gorilla Glue, but that's my ultimate favorite. I use that pretty often as well. Um, so you'll need your glue sticks, you'll need your glue gun. You'll need scissors or you'll need um, one of those little um, knives. So let's get started. What we want to do is, what I did, I must mention, I went ahead and I measured, took my placemat, placed it on the cardboard, traced it, so I have an idea. I wanted to wanted the board to be larger than the actual um, placemat. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my glue down. And I'm just following this tray. Be generous with it so it buys you time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and trace this out with my glue, come back and share with you. Okay guys, so I decided to start cutting out my cardboard to the size of the placemat. So I wanted, I have this little bit left and I wanted to bring you in so you could see how I'm achieving this so the cardboard is going to give me the thickness that I need and support for the mirror 
to be able to hang it onto the wall. And I want to get some. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get all the details, but some of the details of the placemat. So I'm just taking the knife and going slowly and carefully. Make sure you go carefully. Through cutting the placemat so you have similar pattern. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead finish tracing this because I, I just wanted to share that with you so that you get the concept of how I came about or what I used. The scissors is not good for this. It was good when I started to um, cut it out, cut out the cardboard, but now <clears throat> using the knife is much better. So I don't want to cut my table, so I'm putting it on the edge of the table. And that's basically it guys. Now I decided I was going to spray paint it, but I decided I'm not. I'm just going to leave it because I like having the white background and uh, the goal on top. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my mirror. Right in the center of the placemat. Put a generous amount of glue and the outer okay, just like that. Don't know if you can see that. And place your Dollar Tree mirror right in the center of that. If you'd like, you probably can even add some more glue right around the edge <clears throat> to secure it, just like that. We can, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to collect some beads and then that I'd like to add. I'm thinking I want to add some of the Dollar Tree stones to this project. Oh, nice. I like that a lot. Just like that. Great concept. I do like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get some stones on here. Where are my stones? I have a few of the Dollar Tree stones, and I'm thinking I wanted to add them around, so I'm going to add them all the way around, come back, and let's see what they look like. So guys, I decided to go ahead with the stones and I'm using the small stones and the large stones. Basically what I decided that I wanted to do is to take the small stone and place it close to the mirror, all the way up onto the mirror, then take the large stone, lay your glue down and put it next to the small stone but away from the mirror. <coughs> Repeat the same pattern all the way around. Lay your glue down on your stone, place your small stone next to your mirror on your larger stone. Press down, take your large stone, put it next to your mirror but away next to your beat small stone but away from the mirror. I'm gonna do one more 
and then I'll finish up and you guys can see what the whole thing looks like. So take the small one, place it next to the mirror, right up to the mirror. Take the large stone and add it away from the mirror but next to the small stone. And this is the last one. And guys, it's absolutely perfect. That was perfect. It fit in perfectly all the way around. So the small stones are next to the mirror. I've got them flush against the mirror. And then the large stone is away from the mirror, but next to the small stone. And I truly am loving that. Okay, so now I want to add some on the outside of... Guys, I just laid another row down and really, really love the way the third row looks. So I'm going to go ahead and place a small gem, small Dollar, St Dollar Tree stone, in between the small and the large you will I will show it to you and you'll have more of a concept of what I'm speaking of once I am finished so I'll be back to show you what that looks like so I decided I wanted to add some stones on the outer end of the placemat just no particular pattern, just random spacing. There's no right or wrong. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead, glue those on. Add your glue to your stone. Guys, this is all about art and how you feel. So, I mean, you guys must know by now, majority of the time, I'm going with how I'm being led. So, I don't think there's a right or wrong. My desire is to share ideas with you guys, just to be creative and have fun. So, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back to show you finished product. Okay guys, I think I truly am addicted to doing these DIYs because they are therapy. I absolutely love just taking something simple and make it look fabulous. I'm going to put it on the wall and you guys give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. Let me know what you're thinking, what your thoughts are, and what you um, if you would recreate this home decor, which is very inexpensive. $2, $1.98 for the placemat, some cardboard, you can haul that from your grocery store, a dollar tree mirror, and a bag of the stones. Alright, let's see. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I don't think anyone would know that this is a placemat that you've used for wall decor. If you like it as much as I do, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, share this video with your family and friends. And I hope to see you tomorrow on my next DIY. Actually, I have my Tuesday morning with Faith coffee and tea and an encouraging word. Hope you'll join me.